Hello, my name is Ada Robinson. I would like to invite you to the next Victoria Historical Society meeting, a virtual meeting featuring my presentation. The Sternwheeler 49 was the first steamer to operate on the Columbia River north of the 49th parallel. It operated during a time when currents of change ran through the region and its story provides a focus for a look at the early settler history of the West Kootenai. The region that includes the West Kootenai is wild, mountainous country. Even today, it is crossed by few roads. Until railroads began penetrating the area in the mid-1880s, the easiest routes for travel were the lakes and rivers. The Columbia River stands out as a major north-south corridor. The indigenous Sinaiks traversed the region in canoes. From the early 1800s, fur traders, miners, business people, and colonial officials hired Sinaiks canoes or paddled or rowed their own boats. But in 1865, a new sound echoed in the valleys, the steam whistle of the 49. What brought an influx of non-Indigenous people in the mid-1860s was gold. In 1865, Victoria's Daily British Colonist newspaper carried many items about the newly discovered rich diggings in the area known as the Big Bend of the Columbia. A group of entrepreneurs led by Captain Leonard White aimed to capitalize on the miners' need for supplies. They built a sternwheel steamboat just south of the 49th parallel and named it after the parallel. There are no known photos of the steamer, but it was likely similar to the one shown here. The 49 was based at a new town called Little Dalles, just upstream of a small canyon that was passable only at low water. The northern terminus, La Porte, was just downstream of Death Rapids. The steamer competed for trade with another access route, which came over the mountains from Fort Kamloops and Chuswap Lake. The 49 was launched late in 1865. 1866 was a busy, profitable year for the steamer, but gold rushes are transient events. What would be the fate of the 49? I hope to see you on November 26th when you can hear more about the life and times of the Sternwheeler 49.